And San Diego is uh, starting to turn it on. What is a three or four, six of uh, their last nine? And the uh, Padres, they find themselves, yeah, they're in third place, but they're, they're a game and a half back of the Giants, not the Dodgers, but the Giants. Mark Melanson has been fantastic in a San Diego uniform. And the Padres closer joins us now on MLB tonight. Mark, it is Fran Charles, Mike Lowell, and Bill Rifkin. Thanks for spending some time with us. So, so what's it been like for you, the transition from Atlanta uh, to San Diego? Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me on, guys. It's been great. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know of a better place to be, play baseball day in and day out for 162. So um, the transition's been, been wonderful. You know, along those same lines, Mark, uh, this is your eighth team. Uh, we kind of had to look that, and I had to look it up twice just, just to make sure because you've been pretty good in a lot of your spots. But has the transition from each team been easier, and is this kind of just kind of old hat to you? Yeah, after after the first five, I'd say it's, it gets a lot easier. You know, I have to use two fingers to, to count how many teams I've been on, so <laughs> good job figuring that out. <laughs> Mark, Mike Lowell here. Hey, congrats on a great start. Um, the bullpen for the Padres last year was kind of middle of the road, you know, 4, 3, 8 ERA. You guys are number one in the National League now. What would you say has been the biggest turnaround so far? Boy, um, you know, I wasn't here last year to, to really understand what happened last year, but uh, I'd say everybody's just done their job, kind of stayed in their lane and, and you know, not thrown extra pitches, um, you know, Ting and Larry have done a really good job of once we've gotten up, we've gotten into the game. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just throwing strikes. I, it always comes back to strike one and and getting ahead of guys. And then, you know, I think everybody in our pen has an exceptional pitch to put guys away. So, you know, all those things combined usually make for, for get an ERA. Mark, do you consider yourself a little bit unique when I think about the closers of, of today's game? Mostly it's a pitch, two pitches. Uh, but I look at you, and you kind of have that starting repertoire where you have four that you can throw, and you look like you pitched the ninth inning instead of go out there and just outstuff them. Yeah, I, I, you know, for me, it's a, a lot of times it's location, and I don't have 98 in the tank, so uh, I wish I did. If I had it, I'd, I'd definitely use it. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> You know, unfortunately, I don't. So I, I, I rely on location and movement. And, uh, you know, with, with Victor Caratini back there and Camposuano and now Nola, those guys have done a really good job managing the game and keeping the tempo up. And, you know, it's the, it's the small things, the details that really add up for me. Uh, I try to be really good at those details. And, uh, you know, those guys are right there with me the whole time. So it's it's been great. And Mark, look, if Trent Grisham needs a blow in center field, I mean, you could grab a glove and get out there based on what we <laughs> saw. I mean, last season and during the postseason, man, in the bullpen games one and two, you were right there when 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 Ozzie went deep, huh? Yeah, I, I, I would love to take Trent's spot, but I don't know how easily he'd give that up to me. But um, I got my I got my secondary glove in my locker. It's ready to go. All right, well, uh, the way you've been using your primary glove, I think Padres fans are, are very excited about that. Continued success, and thanks for spending a little time with us.